Right, so there's the Hutton Golf Course. Over there we've got Hutton, there's Hutton Wood. I'll be joining up with it in a minute, skirting it. I'm following this um, path divider. There's a bigger path up there which does lead out onto the Roman Road. It's supposed to be private, but I'm sure a lot of people do use it. Walkers, I bet they do. <laughs> there used to be two Great Danes that lived in that. There's a little farmhouse there, tucked in the wood, just behind those horses. Nice little quiet farmhouse that is. And they used to have Great Danes in there, or, or Irish Wolfhounds, one of them, great big things they were. Not Mastiffs. Because these look like they're kept together to have white horses, aren't they? And you're pretty, don't you, everyone? You're not hungry, you're not hungry, you're not coming up to me for to talk or anything. I'm not very friendly, are you? Hey? Eh? Sounds like a big dog barking in the distance. Some mansions over there. That's why I never really stray onto private land. It's always a bit risky because people have got a right to let their dogs loose. And there's some big dogs in these mansions, I tell you. Great big dogs. Now I've just spotted somebody walking this way. I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman or how many there are. I think it's one person. I'll turn off in a minute. They've got a dog, I think. Just turning off a minute. Met on a, another walk, a walker a minute ago with a dog. Friendly, friendly smile, friendly hello. It's always nice that, I think. Now this is an old style, as you can see it's falling apart. And it's got like a little dog paddle that you can lift up to let your dog through. Now a minute ago I was walking along here, going for another gate up there, when there was a lot of barking over at that gate over there. And I managed to get a picture on my camera of three great big dogs. Now they could have been Irish Wolfhounds um, or Great Danes. they still got them. Huge things, they were all at the gate. They've gone quiet now. They were wagging their tails. They might have been friendly. They're still barking now. They can pick my scent up, see? And my voice, probably. Anyway, there's a nice long grass we're walking through now. I don't. It's nice in a way that isn't overpopulated with people. I mean, this is a Saturday. And, uh,. This is a lovely walk, mine. This is a peaceful walk again. It's one of the reasons I like doing it. I mean, I've got... I live in Western, right on near the seafront. 30 seconds from the seafront. From my front door. And it's just like a holiday seaside, Western Supermare. So it's got donkeys, and there's always something going on on what we call the lawns. Bouncy castles. Dairy shows, red, ar red arrows come, army, all the army and the military people often do things there. Um, we have beer and cider festivals. Um, there's always something going on. Vintage cars. And then we've got Tropicana and they, they, they have music booming out. Not in the week and not in the winter. Summer holidays mainly. They've got like lots of rides in there. Bars and cafes. Ice creams. It's a real holiday place. You know, where you can get your fish and chips and the seagulls dive bomb people. But I come out here. I come out. I come out. <laughs> I like going along at the moment now I've moved I, and I've, I've got Zara my daughter 
lives near me as well with the, her dog. And it's nice to go out for that evening stroll and you can see when it's peaceful. And all the people have gone home to their caravans or lodgings or the holiday makers. And you can st stroll along there and see the, the beautiful sunsets and the beautiful skies that form over the sea. In the winter you will have crashing waves and high winds. Yes, it is nice. I like it when I like it. Now later I will be walking up that beach and I will probably do a little video but because obviously you've got to be careful videoing people. But if it turns out a good day the beach will be, the beach will be packed with sunbathers. People paddling in the mud. <sighs> so I've come right over there. I haven't done anything yet. I mean, I got off the bus about an hour ago. Walked uphill. And then, um, <sighs> run the gauntlet of ferns and high grasses and stinging owls. See, no one can afford to pay anyone, like um, rangers or anything, to keep these paths open. I mean, money's been cut in all sorts of areas. And this is sort of thing that once maybe would have been kept under more control by the rangers. Um, they've cut numbers doing that sort of thing. And sometimes people, volunteers do it in some areas. They come out and even repair walls and everything. So, it's a good job. This is a lovely walk and I'm coming up to an ancient forest. It is quite an old wood. And, and further up as well, there's some, a variety of trees here. I should imagine, I can't remember though, that this, although apart from being rural and agricultural, I expect there was some mining done round here. There might have been mining. Yeah, I couldn't stay in all day. I took Sarah's dog out for a walk at half past seven. Made sure she had water and food. And left her on the settee with the radio on. So I was supposed to be coming back today, but Maggie's used to being left when Zara was working so I didn't want to interfere with that pattern because uh, if Zara starts a, a new job which means going to Bristol or something Maggie's got can't, oh, they can't always rely on me to be there you know I go off I go off as well but um, she'd always be taken out in the morning and then she sleeps a lot now she's really old and she's a bit of a guard dog, believe it or not.